Hello, hello, and welcome to game two of this series. Uh, we're playing here. Um, first of all, I'm Liam Shieldsy Prasad, and I've got here Wolfie E. Horrig. Yes, uh, Chaos Juggler on Jinteki.net, and we're playing uh, in round two of our industrial genomics match. So we're playing against a Ken, so an aggressive criminal. So usually, because this deck is really light on cheap um, early game ice, I've decided to keep this hand, even though it's not fantastic, it still has lots of things we need. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead by first drawing a card, see if I can find a hedge fund or something, and then protecting HQ just because you really need to, and then putting this pattern in your server. Mm -hmm. And um, Crick kind of doesn't know anything on turn one, does it? No, but uh, start, starting from next turn even, since we're definitely almost definitely going to overdraw, mm -hmm. um, it's going to become live. And we made a few changes as well. Do you want to go through those? Oh, that's right, of course. Um, so uh, I... Incre the main change is that we increase the deck size from 54 to 59 cards so that we could minimize our agenda density because we were playing one Chronos project before. Now we're playing the same number of agendas but five more cards. Account siphon. Uh, cool, yep, so we can just res this Eli and if they click through, we can res the pad. Uh, ballsy play. Why do you think they did that? I mean... I think it's fair enough. Yeah, like, yeah. there's uh, plenty of legitimate reasons to do it, depending on what you think we're going to do. Maybe they realize that, like, industrial genomics probably doesn't play that many low-cost ice because you need all your cards to be relevant late game. Yeah. Or maybe they just, like, you know, have one icebreaker siphon, reasonable chance to get in. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so we added five more cards. We added mental health clinics. Um, that was one of the main changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because that's the next best economy asset and we need to keep we wanted to keep the ratio pretty constant and we also added a third interns and i replaced the ash for a third elp just because i elp i think is one of the main um reasons to play this kind of deck Um, Poor fix, yeah. Yep, yeah, just. Uh, what was I saying? I was in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. So, uh, the, the changes, e Ash yeah. went out to an EOP, influence yep. wise. Yep, influence wise. And then we added the mental health clinics and I cut the genetics pavilion in the Excalibur. For. For. I uh, think a Caprice and check. other interns. Oh, right? uh, yeah, yeah, Caprice and another interns. And then we yeah. added three mental health clinics and I think another Sundew. Oh, maybe there was already three Sundews. Maybe another snare. But anyway, we wa I wanted to keep the ratios quite intact if I could. Mm -hmm. yeah. The ratios are certainly good. It's just a matter of uh, getting that agenda density as low as possible. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just thought that playing ELP is really maximized when you um, get to play only seven agendas in your 59-card deck. Mm. So, Which is really easy numbers. Yep. Uh, so I think I'm going to draw. Then I'm going to install over... Install a new remote and uh, install over Arc. No, if I install over archives now, they'll know it's a oh, crick. crick. So I'll definitely install this in your remote. And then. Crick on R&D or crick over the. Crick on R&D, but then. Yeah, crick on R&D, I think. And then yeah. when I don't res, it won't be obvious that's a crick because it could be just something that we don't have the credits for. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully, maybe next time we can draw draw it depends what happens we can draw 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 or something mm -hmm. uh, but it's looking good that basically turned out perfectly you know oh aesop's pawn shop mm -hmm. that's not the kind <coughs> you see often in the criminals do you think it Let could again yeah do you think it could signal something uh it's tricky isn't it um i suppose like i can't really think of any synergies around traditional Ken builds with, say, um, even Lamprey. Uh, anyway. Perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, playing Armitage um, Code Busting, yeah, Cast, those yeah. kind of things. Like, you can certainly get value out of it. Um, maybe we'll see, who knows, a roller deck or whatever. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Anyway, uh, I'll just go through what I did just then. Oh, bank job, that's a little annoying, but uh, not a huge deal. Uh, I just drew twice and installed something over archives just so we can get some value happening um, with 
by being able to install something with Crick, or we can just leave it, leave Crick for a while until it happens to hit something very re really relevant. Mm -hmm. Now Jack's in the hand as well off that draw. So uh, what's I think they might have bank drop. I think you need to click on bank drop, right? Yeah. I've actually never played bank drop. Yeah, it does seem weird that bank drop you'd have to click when like Yeah, I think um while it's automated any run triggering is kind of annoying. Oh sure. Yeah. Oh right. Uh, run. No, because there are cards that like trigger a run and then there's a conditional effect. But maybe not. Mm -hmm. Like Ash works the same way as Bank Drop, mm -hmm. where you have to click on it. Yeah. Anyway. There you um, go. Uh, another synergy there. They've kept one credit on the bank drop. Yep. They're gonna crash trash it to the Azobs. Perfect. Um, so we can play Jackson, use Jackson. That puts Jackson. They'll put Jackson out of uh, easy trashing range uh, because of genomics. Mm -hmm. And then we can, I think, ELP. That just makes our servers a lot more secure. Absolutely. And protects these uh, economy assets a little bit. Yep. And let's discard. Um, no, the hostile seems like it could be useful. Yeah, I think the hostile might be good. Maybe the melange, so may, maybe... Maybe until you find another piece of ice, right? Or maybe just the Caprice, just because it's too early for and those guys. And there are three in the deck now as well. So. Yeah, you can find them. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, it's uh, not unseen to see Aesop's merely for synergies and not for um, straight-up like combos. Right. Yeah, like... Aesops is a perfectly reasonable card, it's just that there are lots of things you can spend influence on nowadays, and so yeah, it's kind of hard to find that both Aesops is good, and like that you can put in enough cards naturally that work well with it. Yeah, That's kind of interesting, I didn't haven't played with ELP much, so that ELP basically uh, bricks testing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that uh, very, very well from this year, yep. playing, yep. uh, playing testing and basically every one of my decks. Uh, everyone in my crim decks at least I definitely play three testings and uh, yeah when they do have a ELP it's very difficult to get your credit game on mm, Sunday actually Sun uh, Unprotected does get blanked by testing as well that said it costs them an extra click uh, yes but if like it's no different like if they're going to choose any server yeah, to, yeah. to get what I mean like yeah, yeah. yeah. If but, they're going to use it at all, they're going to use it in the sun. Yeah, yeah, so I think maybe I'll just wait until I can get it in a remote with something on it. Yeah, with something. Um, I think we have enough money, so let's discard this melange. Yeah, yeah, especially if the remote goes to that sundu. Yeah. And like, How many cards face down right now? Four. Uh, four, yeah. yeah. That's a good number. Yeah, so things are going well. Like, Basically, I only have this hostile in case of siphon. Mm -hmm. It's a good anti-siphon protection hey big b wolf ah the big bear wolf joined the game the spectator we say hi to him uh, I don't know if that was clear <laughs> how do you describe your genome um, functional I think is the joke the running joke right is it why because Jesse called it functional one day did he and then I asked Sam, uh, who, so there was a fellow Sam in our local meta who was playing a genomic stick, uh, you know, when, as basically as soon as it came out, and I uh, tried to get it off the ground, and uh, he, he had a good chuckle when it was aptly described as functional, as it's like, key, key pro. Right, so actually here I could res, have res the hostile, but I think I'd rather just keep my credits for now, I don't, just because I, like... One credit, one net damage isn't that much, mm. although it is less, like reasonable. But just that. Oh, actually, no, that was bad. I should have res the hostile. Mm. Uh, actually, maybe I'm not sure. I was thinking I should res the hostile because of ELP that can't run again. But I think it might just be bad again. Extra credit off pad. Off the pad. Yeah, yeah, and still have more actions good. available. Next yeah, credits turn. are certainly the scarce resource at the moment, right? Yep. So five. So if we install, no, we can't install install gain so let's hold off on turn let's use jackson maybe grab a hedge fund perfect and, and install a pad. a pad yep everything went well and we can discard um is there any small eyes to synergize with the sundu 
Uh, no, basically okay. not. No human subaku. No, no nothing like yeah. that. There's only Eli's and Crix as a small eyes. Okay. The point, like, the sun you can just take up one of your servers, and when it does that, it's twice a pad campaign, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's not the card. It's not like in RP where you can like play it and like turn one or turn two behind something, yeah. just because they can both run it for the, your first their first action to deny you their things, even if they can't trash it, and um they and it's just you don't have a small ice and it gives you that gives them a relevant ability back right yeah uh cool so Perfect. yep um i think i might start hmm. maybe i'll put something on r and d just because one uh one creek is still like safe as long as they don't have a code breaker well maybe uh hq because you know you're kind of feeling a second side yeah sure right? that's true yeah we do have enough credits now that it's like so I think I'll, I think Assassin's actually the best anti side Assassin's going to be pretty good there yeah. yep and then I'll put this mental health in your server and that's uh, spilling out over the chat box so we'll just uh, shrink it down great could you just check the uh, the overlays of course yeah perfect uh, everything yep perfect yep. and I think I'll put this Ashigaru in you know, the new uh, remote Oh, oh, what's up? You could draw up and discard another card. No, I don't think so. Just because um, I want to, like, I want to start getting a remote going soon just because we have all the things and we don't really want to give, up, give our opponent infinite time. Absolutely. Yeah. I suppose, like, it's kind of at that point where they have to run anyway, right? So more cards isn't necessarily going to change that Yeah, decision. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so we're seeing a pad campaign and an Aesops in Ken. Uh, certainly the Aesops is supportable with 17 influence, which is uh, not something you see on many runners. Right. Um, I think that's normally a good reason to play Ken. Normally when I see him around is for that 17th influence. Rex, yeah. So Rex uh, still makes this okay just because it's going to cost, like, uh, let's see if the minus one will click for ELP. Um, yeah, if any uh, Jinteki um, developers are listening, can you please uh, automate this, please? Um, it's a little annoying, but I know I'm that sure you, they're working very hard. Yeah, you guys do a great job, so. Yeah, and it is free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah. If you can't fix anything, actually, see if you can fix Kronos Protocol. Mm. Because at the moment, you just can't play it. Oh, because there's no way to actually put the cards. Like... You can play it, but every time you would deal net damage, instead you have to have your opponent write down the cards in their hand. Oh, I was thinking of Kronos Project, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no. I'm, sh I'm sure there's, like, a bunch of hot fixes in the works. We saw the, um, even just the other day, the uh, arrows, the run arrows, got altered to uh, include the text of a run card. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Which is so gas, yeah. <laughs> I lost so many cards because of that. Yeah. Uh, the future perfect, all right. All right. Uh, let's... Bid two. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, uh, I assume they're going to run again. Um, and then, what am I going to do if they run again? Like, we really... Uh, I'll use Jackson if they run again, obviously. Yeah, yeah. great. Although, um... Are you going to put any cards back? Uh... Yeah, the two face-ups. Other oh, face-ups, yeah. Oh, run crick. All right, cool. Yep. Guess. I will install... We could put a Caprice on the server or a Batty on the server. No, but Batty doesn't do anything near this Caprice because crick, <laughs> crick is the only eyes. Oh, you have any eye res? Not. It has to be protecting the server. Oh, it has to be in the server. Yeah, protecting the server. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Should read cards? Yeah, let's just install the pad campaign. That's usually a good thing to do. Uh, thanks for the... Yep. Um, and let's use Jackson. Oh, it was face down, right? Yep. Yep. I'm just waiting on our opponent here. Continue. Yep. Let's use Jackson and let's shuffle in the hedge fund and that's it. If that's a vanity project on top. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, them's the breaks. It no. could be a Hades fragment as well. It could so. be a Hades fragment. But I mean, we, we kept the same number of agendas, so it's not like... Absolutely. It's just, but it's still worse to access a Hades fragment, definitely. 
The density is feeling really good at the moment. Like, what's that? 59 cards, 7 agendas? 59 cards, 7 agendas, and 3 are future perfect. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the the good thing is that Future Perfect actually does interact with Film Critic because it doesn't trash, it doesn't uh, break your ELP. Mm. Which, oh, that's tight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. So nine credits. I do want to put something on R and D. I don't want it to be Susano. I usually only like to put Susano in a remote. So I think I might draw. Sundew. That's good. Put Sundew in. That's server eight. Server eight. Yep. And actually, I might uh, put the batty in that server as well, just because I don't want to lose a credit to install it somewhere else, and I want this batty down at some point. In this, this is going to be the scoring server. So. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, let's raise the sun you. Yeah, and then like if they like, it's a bit annoying. Um, that they can access that they can access but uh, next time we can fill up the hole and I think it's better to get this sundew up and rolling even though it might seem a bit excessive to need one two three four five six seven credits a turn uh, as you can see this deck can eat credits pretty quickly yeah, so. yeah it disappear very quickly yeah especially if our opponent is actually trying to use our credits with yeah side games. yeah exactly alias mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, that definitely means the Susano is going on a remote. Since there really aren't any other good sentry, like if they're playing Alias and not something like Mimic Soccer, the only thing they can have is like Fem basically mm. that deals with it well. And they're not going to have Switchblade, so future perfect. So we can just no, because then they can still break. Mm. Um. Like, HQ is safe at the moment, so HQ's I don't yeah, have to worry. Yeah. I think I'll just put this draw. I think it's draw time, yeah. Oh. HQ's still looking fine. Yeah, that's true. It's just uh, always annoying to draw an agenda. Of course, yeah. Uh, draw, draw, and then put this Ashigaru over R&D, you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, R&D has substantially less agendas in there now. Oh, sure, sure, sure. As, as but like, like it's, it still has a uh, vanity project, which is basically all we care about, right? Yeah, because absolutely. Because if they don't, if they score two, three points, it's worthless. The second yeah. one's worthless, yeah. basically. Unless they score a third, but yeah. basically worthless. Okay, that, that situation, though, they still have to score two future perfects and the Hades shard at best. Yeah. Which is not like, it's not small game. There's, there's a lot of ways you can fight that just by having more economy. That's great. Um,. Well, I guess my opponent hasn't seen any influence Anything, from yeah. us, so it's probably reasonable, but we do not have any meat damage. We have much net damage, though. We have some net damage. Enough net damage. Well, there are decks with much net damage. This is a deck with, like, a little net damage. A, a touch, yeah. Just a, a spark on the tip of your tongue. Right? Yeah. Dirty laundry, yep, cool. Uh, yep. You're going to trash it? I don't think so. Nah. I think they should They've remember... They've probably just given up, right? I think they should remember to gain their credit from prepaid, though. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Vanity Project. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's uh, time to get something out of here. Probably that Haley Shield, right? Seeing uh, as it's the card you could deploy the fastest. Mm, no. Uh, hmm, we'll see. Well, you can put Susano out there and res it and score Haley Shield at the same time. But you can't do that. That's just the same. If I'm going to do that, why not just make it a vanity project? Because it means passing one less turn with a bunch of agendas. Yeah, because you can do it now as install, opposed to next turn. No, because if I install out, install, install, advanced vanity project or something. Sure. Like, isn't it the same situation? I don't get it. Like, uh, yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah. It just means you won't be able to score it as soon. No, because if we play Susano, mm. play the Hades Fragment, and advance once, we can't score next turn anyway. It's the same number of turns. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, you have to yeah, play yeah, the Susano. Yeah. I forgot to count the install of the agenda itself. Yeah, so I'm going to... Actually, I think I'm just going to install this in Server 8. Install this in Server 8, but I won't... Uh, I'll just gain a credit so I have enough to res both of these and also use Batty. Mm. And I mean, I know it's a little awkward to be gaining credits... But we need so many of that. Yeah, yeah, you just need a bunch. But as soon as those cards are res, like, you'll be in the clear forever, basically. Yeah. So, it's just this once. Mm. 
Well, uh, listen to Shore are getting their value for money. <laughs> Playing against this deck. Run it, uh, run on server right. Okay. Um, Alright, let's send them into archives. <laughs> Which sounds kind of bad, to be honest. Well, I mean, it's not a huge but, deal yeah, because they have to get past the crick. Yeah, it's like, not the worst in the world, though. Like, I did consider this, like, kind of dis synergy, but I think having crick, making them... I'm happy to make them spend like five credits to access archives mm -hmm. as they want. Yeah. Right? Like. Or let me run a crick. Yeah. yeah. Which can only go well at this point. You've got like a baddie and a caprice, right? Yeah. So. Fire again. Ooh. All right. Yep. Let's put this caprice in. So, right. And that's basically perfect. And right, that's game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they do have 14 creds, though, if they want to start assaulting this economy. Cleaning up these uh, mental health clinics. I guess so, but like I think we're at the point where we care more about their clicks and able to ability to assault the servers than we do about the money, really. Yeah, for sure. Like losing one credit a turn isn't that bad, especially since we have infrastructure as well. Just sitting here if we need it. Yeah, yeah. If, they, if he runs mental health, we can raise the infrastructure and help put the stami on it pretty quick. But yeah, I mean, it just seems far more reasonable to just draw cards and try and find something uh cool so f six credits 15 so we i'm like how are they gonna get through this society yeah i don't see it yeah i don't see it either um we might be a little bit short on the second batty if they go for that well but. yeah we're like we yeah we're short on the second batty you're right but like they need to get through the Sasano and, and, and you've still got the one or zero on the first batty so yeah wait you mean the Caprice? We have one baddie, one Caprice, yeah. right? Yeah. So nine for the Ashigaru, three creds. Oh, yeah, yeah, one or zero for the Caprice, yeah. cause Caprice because Caprice costs two. Because two, yeah. yeah. Uh, account siphon. Uh, I guess that's annoying. Oh, that is actually annoying. Maybe, maybe I should have thought of that. Um, yeah, let's let them steal out. No. You hmm. could... Let's res Assassin them. and then see what they do. Yeah, you could threaten the kill, I think. Because if they break, then they won't have enough to get into Susano, no matter what happens. Oh, they could have inside job. Actually, maybe this... Hmm. If they have inside job, they still have to contend with Caprice. And this time... You... No, because if they get through the Eli, then we can res the hostile. Yeah. Like we're on, we'll be on exactly five credits, so... So I think, actually, if they have inside job, they do get to steal this agenda. Which would be pretty bad. Yeah, that would be really mm -hmm. bad. Maybe I should have thought about that. Oh, whatever. The server will stick, though. You'll have a hostile. For sure, but I'll need to find another... Like, it's the worst situation because they steal the Vanity Project. Yeah. Which means trash. I need to find another Vanity Project. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I heard it happen. Yeah. It is a run event. Right? Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, well, whatever. It is really hard to fit slots like that in, in the deck, though. And right now we're seeing, like, Quite a few. Actually, this is not great as well because now we don't have any money to pay for the future birthday. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's still bad to let them have a rat. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> if they inside job, then we're dead. <laughs> That's bad. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. Let's see if they have it. Like. Oh, phew. Bank job. Oh. No, because they can't run because of... It. Oh, ELP's gone, no. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Cool. But we're still not strictly safe yet. No. But, cool. That could have gone much worse. <laughs> we could have lost. Yeah. It could have gone quite a bit better as well, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why now? <laughs> um, Like, it isn't that huge of an issue. Nah, it's fine. Because they... But still, just our hand is not the best. Um, I think I'm going to score this vanity project. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Even though it makes R&D not safe. Like, who cares about R&D? Yeah, R &D anyway, it does nothing. Right? Yeah. I mean, you've got four of your seven agendas. Yeah, and two are future perfect. Yeah. And, yeah, so there's only actually one agenda that we care about in R&D. And it's one vanity project. Yeah. Uh, so like there's a 1 in 30 that you could just lose on access which is not bad odds sure but it's not better odds than going for HQ yeah, oh, you yeah. know what I mean like, yeah. Yeah. there's much better odds going for HQ so. 
Um, and with this money coming in, I don't think it's unbelievable to just keep scoring. You could install an assassin out. Well, the problem is that our opponent actually gains like money at the same rate. Uh, not not money at the same rate, but they have enough money to threaten this server. Yeah, sure. Like. They have enough money that we need Ashigaru plus Batty plus Caprice, basically. Mm -hmm. So six, fifty. Oh, put them on Anjan then. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. We might to get these trash costs up a bit as well. Yeah. The thing is, we don't have that much time. I think we get a bit of time. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I, I guess, yeah, that's uh, what I mean is that the time we have, I think, is better spent trying to score. Sure, sure. I just think that, like, credits are going to be the best way to do that. Sure. Yeah, so maybe let's draw once. Hedge fund. Oh. And that's tw 11. So 11 means we can actually... S I think it's actually better to put the vanity project, even though it's an extra turn, mm. just because it's the safest in this server hmm. uh, and then if they run then we can run batty yeah that's actually safe yeah, that's pretty good and that means that we can't lose we're forcing them to get through the remote basically yeah, yeah. and we have even another batty so yeah yeah that means that in three turns they're gonna lose yeah because you want to score it over three turns right now right you want to keep protecting with the batty yeah because we want to be able and we want to be able to raise our ice if possible yeah cool it's a good plan Going it three turns from now. It is interesting, though, that we're choosing to score an extra point, even though it might take an extra turn, a whole well, extra turn. I mean, it is safer because that way they, they can't just win the game ahead of us, right? Yes. Yeah. But it's still interesting. Like, if we if we get scored and we die... Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be awful. Right? Yeah. Fam, yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, no. That's not a huge deal, though. Yeah. Like... They still... Ashigaru is still six credits. Yeah. Like, it just makes... I think it's seven at the moment. Sorry? Five cards in hand. Two. Two, two and pump, then five. Two and five. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. And they're going down to five to bypass the Susano. So. Yeah. The only issue is that we have to run the Batty. Because we don't have enough for Caprice. You don't have to run the baddie. They can't break Ashigaru. Oh, yeah, of course. I th I was thinking uh, five still, but yeah, six. No, seven. Seven. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. It's quite a substantial amount. What a gas card. Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? It's what, like four influence, I think? Three. Three influence, yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't play it outside of Jinteki or NBN, but... And only NBN because in NBN you don't have to import Tolu. Right. Yeah. But you also don't have any good cards for, yeah. uh, <laughs> for Glacier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no vanity project, please. Come on. There's only one. It's like the same odds as seeing government take over. Yeah, it is. Fire. Oh, no. I don't know if you want to do that. Ooh. Oh, there's a. I guess we can just put the baddie on R and. No. Actually, nothing even does anything. Baddie on the remote? For yeah, baddie on the remote. You can just track out a Sundu, right? No, that's useless. Oh, there's no ELP. Yeah. No, just like, it doesn't. Yeah, it's useless. Yeah. You won't even get your money back. Alright, let's triple advance. Uh, wait. No. F wait, no, four is enough. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, what do I want to discard? Oh, something irrelevant. Oh, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So basically, they have one shot hitting on R and D. Five credits. If they just throw Crick to the wind, they could get through a few cards with a. Well, sure, effect. but there's only one yeah. like. Well, there is still one face down and hostile, so they can't trash too many cards. Oh, that's true. And they might still hit a snare. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that that really matters, but, yeah. you know. I did really enjoy hostile in, like, a, a Jindeki 
sideways deck with like June bugs and Ronins and all these zero trash cards, right? And they just have to start running R and D. But you realize with hostile, it's actually really hard to do that right. quite a lot. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's What's what this? they're doing. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. Ooh, fires. Fire! Uh, a shock is an asset. Uh, Alright, no. Oh no, there's no baddie to put on it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, the baddie doesn't do anything anyway, because Crick is the only thing oh, that yeah, rest, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we went through this last time. Yeah, you could fire the baddie, fire the Crick, return the baddie. Yes, I did, did, do think about doing that a lot, but then I realised that never actually does anything. It does nothing. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Oh, uh, future... Oh, that doesn't oh, actually great. matter. Perfect. Um, but it kind of does because it's basically them getting in as like a free trash. But I think we're still gonna have to spend zero just because this is the most important. You're about to win. Oh, no I, th I didn't realize yeah. it was their last click. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, let's score. Pay, pay attention. What is this? Two, three, and score. Big game. What is this? Harmony med tech? Two <laughs> Two yeah. Yeah. Great. I think that was probably more challenging game than the first one but yeah uh, basically they both went the same way like yeah. in the end uh anyway uh we'll be back for round three yeah game three so stick around